pretty viable. Uh, I think I've seen a few people, they wouldn't use Gallant Cannon, they use like a Flush Cannon or Cosmic Cannon. Basically, uh, vehicles that have a little more uh, cornering power than Gallant Cannon. But uh, try to hit the edge of that. Boost plate. Edge of that one, you can MT a little. I go for like, th there's one boost plate that I don't go for on this map. It's coming up right after this turn. And uh, right here, you want to hit that. Like I'm on, like I'm on a line here, like uh, like the very edge. Like a uh, there's like this brown part and this lighter part, and I want like on the line between that. That's what I want to line Fat Shark up with. It's on like the the outermost part of the cylinder, like with respect to how this uh, cylinder is curving right now. So I try I try to hit that and then just like stay on this line and you can get a shift boost. All right, I got one. Ooh, I got a really big one there. Uh, you you want to try to get two really small ones, actually. And I wasn't expecting to get such a giant jump there, so I actually lost time doing that. So I actually uh. I intentionally missed that one one boost plate that's on the other side there. Oh crap. I missed that one too. So this is another level where like you really want to pay attention to momentum throttling and actually hitting boost plates. The guy in. It's right here on the other side. There's a boost right there. Whoa, damn it! Okay, if you hit that boost plate. <laughs> Typically when you do this level, you would hit the boost plate and then coming over this, uh, this big, uh, blob in the track, you would let go of A and you'd get a shift boost. And, uh, you could, if you land, you could get, like, 2,000 kilometers an hour-ish if you had, like, a really good shift boost. And here I try to line up, uh, with, like, the outside, like, the way the, 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 the cylinder is turning. Or, uh, warping or whatever, like turning in this direction, you want to be on the, the outside of that turn. I hold forward as I hit that boost plate. Typically I would have had more speed and I would have had to uh, pull back and land. Uh, I boost once right as soon as I uh, get boost power. Another time right after that boost plate. And then I won't, I won't do any more like manual boost for a while because if I was to boost here, it's like I'd be going fast, but that just means I would lose control during these little bumps, because it's like they're really mean. Uh, just gonna go like that. Right, shift boost. Almost, almost. And it can be, it can be really easy to like uh, lose control during this, uh, that section and then you would miss, like, a boost plate as a result. So I like to save a few boosts for the end there, just because that's, like, the slowest part of the track, and it's also, like, one of the... It, it, it's, like, a lot of other parts of this track are really easy to lose control on. So I like to just do two at the start, and then save the rest for the end. Because, like, you can't, like, you could do MTS, like, on the, like, turning techniques on, like, the top of the, uh, the cylinder, or, like, like, 90 degrees, like, perpendicular to its, uh, axis that it's turning on or whatever, but typically you can't really do MT much MTS on this course or other things like that, which, as a result, it makes, like, getting, optimizing this track, like, really kind of weird. There's all sorts of shift boosts you can do, but uh, they're as aside from the the ones I mentioned, most of the others are like pretty tricky. So that's uh, Thank you. that's Fat Shark on this. Beating this, this is actually like probably one of the hardest staff ghosts in the game, actually, just because like all the lim like with Dragon Slopes, you could like momentum throttle and beat Death Anchor easily on that track. On this track, you don't really have much in your uh, arsenal uh, 
relative to the staff ghost. And it's also a pretty solid uh, time. It's, don't beat yourself up if you have trouble beating it, because it, I think it took me like over a year since I started playing GX to beat that. That ghost.